Hello, I'm Wallace Boss, an ex-Madison Avenue creative who's pursuing this new media project called The Muse, conversations amongst kindred spirits about creativity so that people don't feel like an island off on their own, a cross-pollination, if you will, of minds uh, from all over. It was quite exciting for me to meet Warren McKenzie because he's taught three generations of my family. I've known his name since I was very young. Since returning from studying with Bernard Leach in St. Ives, England in the early 50s, Orr Mackenzie has had an important influence of American functional pottery. I met him where I was told I'd find him on a Monday morning at his wheel. Here's a shortened version for YouTube of the conversation we had about creativity. Even if you go back through history, cultures wherein they are struggling to live, they are spending 90% of their time just uh, putting food in front Sustains. of their family and so forth, surviving. Um, there's always a sense of uh, art coming in. It's, it sneaks in. I mean, decorating the handle of a knife or something like that. You don't just leave it a handle, which would work perfectly well, but there's a desire to decorate it and embellish it and express something about yourself in that. So I think, I think this is always going to be true. I hope, I hope it's always going to be true. The, the pot that we own, that, uh, that I like the most, and I think it's, it's a really incredible pot, came to me by accident. Uh, a friend got a whole cardboard barrel full of Japanese artifacts in, in trade for a piece of sculpture that this man had made. And, uh, he sent us this little bowl one time, and it, it arrived unbroken in a, in a flimsy shoebox with a piece of string around it, you know. Uh, went through the U.S. mail, but it, it didn't get broken. And it's a, it's a, it's a very simple bowl, uh, probably made by Korean potters, but in Japan, in a town called Hagi. And it wasn't made as a work of art, it was made to eat out of. Um, Subsequently, apparently, according to what I can learn about this piece, uh, a tea master must have recognized its qualities and uh, uh, adopted it or adapted it as a, as a tea bowl, because there you, you want something where, which can express uh, your feelings in a very small object, and, and it's, it's quite difficult. But this pot is... is it's a nothing pot. It's a sort of a pot you'd say anybody could make it. But um, I've tried to make not that pot, but to, to make a pot with the feeling that that has. Mm -hmm. I've never succeeded. Uh, and and uh, I, can, I can pick it up and handle it and look at it and use it. And, and it's always a pleasure, you know? You discover new things about it. And it it's, it's, has no decoration on it. It's just a, a plain cream-colored bowl. That's all it is. But it's, it's so much more to me. Now, uh, it didn't mean anything to this fellow who got it in trade. And he said, you know, you, you people like it better than I do. So he gave it to us. Uh, uh, any competent, you know, second-year ceramic student could make that pot. And yet, none of us can can make that pot. It, it, it's it's just it's it's got something that is incredible. Uh, and, uh, so that uh, again, to to me, that's a very important pot. But if someone else looked at it, why well, they, they might shrug their shoulders and say it doesn't doesn't mean a thing, doesn't reach them, which is okay. Mm -hmm.